we're going to look at how to set up your Google site in new Google sites, not old Google sites. Uh, so first we're in Google here. We're going to start by going to sites.google.com. Note that you want to be in Chrome for this and you want to be logged in and syncing is turned on. So you'll click that icon that you see my mouse hovering over on the right hand side. Okay. All right, for Notre Dame, it'll jump you right to your Google Drive. And we're going to start by making a blank site here. Click on blank. Our Google Sites is really intuitive, so we're just going to give kind of the highlights of what you can do, some of the things you can do, and um, how you can really set up your, uh, specifically your project pages. Um, but you can do this for, again, any sort of Google Site here, and we'll just give you the high level. So there are three main things we want to focus on, this Insert tab which is great for when you are working within a page. This Pages tab, when you want to create individual pages within your Google site. And then the Themes tab, which allows you to change the actual layout of your site. And you can see that it gets pretty detailed in one way or another. So we'll just go with Impression for, for now. All right. For the Pages tab, we're going to set up, it starts off with a home default page, which we can rename later on. But we're going to add some new pages first. And you'll want to have a page for every one of your different uh, projects. So for instance, we can have a new page. And let's call it, uh, we can have one be the global classroom. And we can have as many of these pages as we would like. So maybe another one would be the candy dispenser. And you can always edit these after the fact by clicking on the three dots and clicking on properties. That allows you to change it. If you want to rearrange it, you can also do that by clicking and dragging. So notice that I click on candy dispenser. Maybe I want it to go before global classroom. We'll see that it changes up in the top here. So we can move it back down. So now let's say we want to work on one of these individual pages. Let's say we want to work on the candy dispenser page. Okay, we see the title of it here. We're going to go into the insert now and we can see that we have a couple of different things that we want to focus on. First off, it links to your Google Drive automatically. So anything in Google Drive, maybe you have a running uh, sort of chat with somebody, like a, I'm thinking for the Global Classroom project, maybe you guys are working on a good doc that you want to link in here. You can also do layouts that I think make it a little bit more friendly. So let's say I want to do a layout where I have a couple of pictures to start with and some text below. Click and drag and drop. And we see that it gives us some options to automatically add the photo if we would like to, add some text underneath it, but we're not limited to just this piece. Maybe underneath this initial block, it's, you want to think of it as, as kind of block layered. Maybe underneath this, I have just a regular picture and text. And I can continue to add layouts as we go. Now, one thing that I really love about, uh, and we can just say demo layout. Check out this picture. We see that within these texts, we have all of our pretty standard text editing options. We can change the text size, what type of text we want to use, how it's, um, you know, how it's uh, indented, things like that. Any bullet points, or if we want to add any links, we can do that. Um, but one thing that I really love about Google Sites is that they have some options of really making your page really aesthetically pleasing. So for instance, I can change the color of these individual sections. Maybe it looks something like that. And I would recommend just playing around with, with those individual pieces of your layouts because I think that it really adds a great um, aesthetic dynamic. You can also link to your Google accounts, which is fantastic if you are someone who has YouTube um, because Google is part of YouTube, or sorry, YouTube is part of Google. You can link Google videos and YouTube videos directly into your web page. And that doesn't stop then with any of, you know, that also includes any of your other normal um, Google Drive links. If you want to link in directly a doc or a slide, you can do that as well. Um, but I really think that YouTube piece is, is pretty is pretty incredible. Um, deleting it is pretty simple as well. You just need to find this delete button whenever you're ready to delete a section. Maybe I don't like that. And it can delete the whole thing. And then I can always go back to this home page. All right, in general, your site name can be whatever you'd like. I think it makes sense to make it your name, Mr. G's design thinking page. And that's just something that we can change as you go. Or, you know, I think, again, I think if you want to make maybe, you know, your name portfolio, something like that, it's really, it's really up to you. Um, you don't have to go with a layout if you don't want to. You can also just double click and you'll get many of these same options automatically added into wherever you click. So let's say I want to just start with the text box. I can start by saying 
Um, hello and welcome to my portfolio. And then we can, just like last time, continue to build layers. So maybe next is gonna be an image and I wanna have an image of something in my Google Drive. Uh, something about World War II, I guess. Okay. It doesn't have to be in Google Drive, but if it is in Google Drive, it'll link um, a little bit more smoothly. And we can see that we have some of these editing tools as we go, so we can have any sort of cropping if we would like to, or if we can just add captions in different texts. Again, I, I, it's meant to be very intuitive, so I encourage you to play around with it. All right. You can also get a view of what it looks like by clicking this preview button up at the top. Notice that it gives you a couple of different options. If you would like to view it on a web page, this is what it would look like. Or if you were viewing it on a tablet or on a smartphone, you can view it that way too. So definitely giving you some options, um, which I think make it really powerful. All right, finally, when you're done, you wanna make sure that you can click publish. It'll give you an opportunity to rename parts of the web page if you would like. So you can see that that would be the link if I have it set to that, but you can change that. Um, to something that's a bit friendlier, whatever you would like to do. And then just make sure you click publish and you can share that link then with me. So that is how you would make a Google site. If you have any other questions, please send me an email or stop by and I'll be happy to help you out.